Okay, I'm just going to show you how to tie a, a Willy gun flamethrower um, in the style that I tie it. So there's variations in this, but this is the way I've been tying them. So the hook is a size 10 uh, mustad. Um, just start the thread at the usual place and wind it down to between the point and the bar and come back up about three or four mil behind the eye. I'm going to catch in underneath the shank a length of gold wire or copper wire and take it right down to the point between the barb and the, the point. For the body in this I'm using Future Fly and it's a signature Dublin and it's antique. So this is for the rear body. Pull out a few strands and Double it one way only on the thread. Double wee fine rope and start to wind it. Get it caught in and then start to wind it up the body. You don't want to go too far up the body, about even slightly less than halfway. And then get three turns of your rib on. Tie your gold wire down break it away. At this point I'm going to wax the thread and I have a bunch of bucktail here that's been st sort of pre-mixed. So this is black, yellow and orange. Um, I've made a wee pile here, it'll probably do three flies so I'm going to split it into three equal portions. Take a pinch of this out. Roughly what I need, and just make sure the tips are reasonably well lined up. If there's any very short fibres, you can pull them out. So I'm happy enough for that. So just set that to the side for the minute. We're going to tie in a, a yellow hackle. It's just a Chinese neck uh, feather. So there it is there. Tie it under the tip. And trim away the tip, waist tip of the feather. And just, I like to fold the hackle with the back of the scissors gently. At this point, I'm going to fold the hack along. First turn tight up against the gold dubbin, and your second turn in front of that, and your third turn directly in front of that. And once you've got three turns, tie off your, your stall. Three or four turns. And then trim it away. Anything that's coming forward, just pull it back and take a couple of turns over it just to keep everything in place. If you have any strays that aren't behaving themselves, you can trim anything off. So, a wee bit more wax. I'm gonna tie in this bit of bucktail now. So, just set it on top, and this hack will kick it up a bit couple of this turns and I'm just going to check it against this fly for the right length and that is a good length for, for me so tie that in hop it secure and then trim away your waist at an angle that will taper the taper the fly towards the head so your hackles don't sit all funny. Um, over the top of this there's three strands of crystal hair and this is micro crystal hair and it's pearl. Just catch them in. Bind them down nice and tight. Trim over your waist ends. At this point catch in your bit of uh, copper wire again or gold. 
just underneath the shank, nice and tight, and the front body is black floss. This is Danville's, and it's four strands, but I've just taken two strands out, so you can use whatever you have, you know, or take one ply out of a black wool if you have it. And I'm only going to come to there, I'm going to leave a bit of room at this head two hackles and jungle cock and then we're going to switch the, the colour of the head trim this up nice and tight nice and neat and then give yourself two turns of two turns of rib and tie your wire in well break off your waist next up is your orange hackle and again this is a Chinese neck feather, tie it into the tip nice and tight trim away your waist piece and again just start to fold the back of the scissors and a couple of oh. sometimes the tips are brittle so just you tie too near the tip they can break. I'll just unwind that and catch it again. Fold that back. Further down hopefully it doesn't break this time. One probably just two turns here. And that will let us get a turn or two of black front of that and also give us room for the jungle cock and uh, to change the head to red on this. Trim away your waist and pull anything that's too far forward back and take a couple of turns over it. At this point you can put a, put a wax in your thread again and for the front hackle I'm going to use a, this is a black hen neck. I'm going to pull a feather off here and they're fairly the hens are fairly dense so probably a turn or a turn and a half that's the hen feather there I'm just going to catch it in by the tip as well trim away your waist nice and tight and double your fibres back Tied up against your orange, and then you're coming around with your second turn. Just tie, it, tie it off. So you don't need much of the, the hem. Actually, that's nearly too dense looking. I'll just unwind it back a bit. I'll go over one turn just. I think one turn's enough. So. four securing turns in. You're happy that it's not going to pull out or slip, trim away your waist and then tidy up around your head a bit and get ready to tie in your your jungle cock eyes. So I'm going to use the small feathers at the bottom here. Um, you don't want too big an eye on it. So Back two that are roughly the same size. And tie them in by the pull the fibres back away from the where you're going to tie them in. And then place them in and one or two turns just to hold them. And then tie in the one at the other side. If you tie them both in at the same time, you can go ahead and do that. I like to tie them in separately. Until you're happy with them. 
sometimes it's set better than others, but just persevere until you get them right. I've got one on my side sitting nicely, but the one on the far side is is not sitting where I want it to. You can double the, the stalks back and whip finish the white thread. And then I'm going to take a minute or two and trim away the, the ends of the green will come up nicely. So just pull them, make sure they're well away, and that you're only trimming the stalk, not the eye itself. So if you have sharp scissors, you can put the scissor in and just pull it against the stock rather than snipping, that way you're not going to cut anything else. And we're just going to change the thread to, this is actually glow bright floss. And I think it's scarlet, so get it started. And once you've it started and secured on, trim away your waist piece and then tidy up your last wee bit of, over your white thread with couple of turns. It's so basically just straight on, cover the head and straight whip finish straight off. It'll give you a nice shiny or a nice bright head over the white. And then all that's left to do is a couple of coats of varnish or a coat of uh, UV resin. I will just stick a wee bit of super glue on this for speed. It's sitting beside me. My torch is buried somewhere, so one coat of that and then a couple of coats of varnish. So that's basically your fly there. And there's the top view. You can see the two jungle cock eyes are lining up, lining up nicely, nicely in line. So that's the Willie Gun flamethrower. Thanks for watching.